You're going to want to watch this video if you are new to workspaces as there's quite a bit to understand about them. I want to cover things like what they do as well as how to use multiple workspaces and what gets saved in a workspace versus a template. Workspaces can seem confusing even if you're just starting out with NT8, but we're going to turn you into an expert in a few short minutes right after this. So workspaces can be controlled through the menu on the control panel and when you select it you will see a drop down of your current workspaces. Let's get all on the same page. What is a workspace? Okay, Keeping it basic, a workspace is just going to be the NinjaTrader 8 windows that you have open on your computer saved in specific locations. So if you have two monitors and you put a chart on each one and save that as a workspace next time you open up NinjaTrader 8 that same workspace is going to be loaded and you will have the same charts of the same windows in the same locations and positions. So if you want to lay out eight chart windows on a single display, you can open up eight windows, set them all to the time frame that you want, and then you can save your workspace. Next time you open up your platform and that workspace gets loaded, all the same charts with the same time frames and the same positions are going to be opened automatically for you. So here's a common confusion point with workspaces. Okay, let's just say we set up four charts. Okay, we have everything that we need in the way that we want. So we go ahead and save that workspace. Then I continue on with my trading day. And at the end of the day, when I close my platform, it prompts me with a question. Okay, it asks me, do I want to save my workspace? Now, most of the time people will say yes, but I'm going to tell you, you'll probably want to say no. I'm going to tell you why. If you say no, everything will revert back to the same workspace that you had when you said it was perfect. So by saying no, it's going to go back to that original clean state. If I say yes, and I'm overwriting everything of my original setup with what I have currently on my screen with the way it is right now. Now that might be how you want to do it, but if you do want to revert back to a clean state, you always want to be saying no when you exit instead of saying yes. So let's talk about the icons and multiple workspaces. When you go to your control panel and you click on workspaces, you will see a list of workspaces and each one has an icon beside it. If your workspace has a green square in the front, then this means that you're viewing your current workspace. If the green square is behind the gray square, then that workspace is actually running in the background. All those charts are opening, all that calculation still using up all your computer, CPU and everything else. Okay. It's just running in the background. If there are no squares, then that workspace is closed and it's not running. Now this is important if you're running a lot of stuff because even though NT8 might be acting a little bit sluggish, it could be because you have four or five workspaces open doing a lot of heavy calculations and these workspaces are all running in the background and might not even be used. Okay, you just didn't close them. And instead you create a new one which left the old one running in the background. We see this happening all the time okay so you see what i mean you only want to use workspaces that you're actively using and actively want to have open you don't want to be leaving workspaces open get into the habit of closing them so that they they keep your computer running fast and they're not going to be running in the background just wasting vital cycles so why would you want workspaces running in the background? Let's say that you have one monitor and running another workspace you can think of, it's almost like having a second monitor, meaning that you can load four charts in each workspace and switch between them rather quickly, okay? All you have to do is basically go to your control panel and click which workspace you wanna be looking at at that time. Now you can't see both at once, but it will save you from consistently opening up new charts and closing new charts and opening up more charts. Okay, maybe you have a workspace for each market you trade, like Forex futures or stocks, or perhaps you know maybe you uh, break them into different time frames or instruments uh, for each workspace. So you can pick how you want to organize them and have that ability and that option to have different workspaces do different things, and and those options are actually great to have. 
Now, one thing that you have to know and understand is what gets saved into a workspace. Okay, One of those things are going to be all the drawings that you do on your chart. So if you draw a line or a circle or a box, all these are saved into your workspace and not into a chart template. Okay, It's important to understand the difference so that when you open up a workspace, it will also open up any templates, chart templates that are attached to those charts, but the actual drawing objects are going to be saved inside of that workspace. Now I'm going to use an example of how I use alerts, but I want you to understand that alerts in general are saved inside of a workspace. So I get alerts every time a pattern is discovered and those alerts will do different things. So for example, I might have a, a, a sound effect go off a, a wave file. I might have a pop-up box appear every time a pattern is discovered. So all these alerts are, are created and they're saved inside of my workspace. Now, if I create a new workspace and I start from basically scratch, I have to recreate all these alerts and you can see how many I have. It would be really annoying. So one of the tricks is, is that when you want to create a new workspace and base it off of one that you have, actually go and select save as instead of creating a brand new workspace. That way you can change a copy of it right? So that all those alerts get transferred over or whatever you do that might be static between all your alerts uh, or all your workspaces. Uh, that way you can have basically an easier, a much easier way of creating workspaces that might copy those alerts to them because alerts are saved as part of it. A lot of people think that alerts are going to be saved as part of the market analyzer as that's how you kind of like access them or one way to access them. Um, but they're actually going to be stored as part of your workspace. So take your time and play around with these. Make sure that you have a good understanding of using, creating, saving workspaces. It's worth playing around for, I don't know, an hour or so and really burn it into your head because there's nothing that is more frustrating than getting an alert all set up only to spend all this time doing it and then to accidentally overwrite any changes because you didn't understand what you were doing. So I'd really encourage you to spend some time and just really learn how to master the workspaces. So starting at build 8.0.15.0, they've actually put in a function because I imagine a lot of people overwrite their workspaces, but you can actually restore a workspace now, which is good news. Uh, to do that, I want you to go into your tools, database management, and then go down to where it says restore workspace. I want you to try to restore it. I would imagine this will only go to one version back um, and it will use it uh, across all your workspaces. Um, but I will find out and I'll post some more information in the comments on that once I do get clarification on that. But there is a way to at least revert back if you do run into that trouble. So there's two more things that you'll want to do. One is you want to head to our website to grab our free uh, news indicator as well as price line indicator. So I highly recommend grabbing those. Uh, the next thing that you'll probably want to do is hit that subscribe button so you get access to all these videos as they come out. More tips and tricks. We do, uh, you know, updates whenever they do a new release to highlight what's important, what you should be aware about. So by all means, subscribe to that. If you do have any other questions, post them below. I'd be happy to hear from you and we'll see you in the next video.